I'm Randy Robinson. Welcome to Life Today TV. I'm here with Dr. Les Parrott, who's got a new book called Love Like That. And uh, it's, the subtitle says Five Relationship Secrets from Jesus. Yeah. Why, what, why are these secrets? Well, I'll tell you, there's a passage in uh, Ephesians where the Apostle Paul talks about how Jesus loves. And he says it's, Christ's love is extravagant and it's incredible and it's, it's, it's filled with grace. And he just goes on to describe how Jesus loves. And then at the end, there's this little three-word sentence, love like that. Hmm. And when I read that with fresh eyes some time ago, a few years back now, I was like, are you kidding me? How in the world are you supposed to love like that? Mm. This is love at the highest levels. And uh, is it even possible? I know Jesus, it's a command. We're supposed to love like Jesus, but how do you do that? It's like saying to somebody, go climb Mount Everest and not yeah. give me any you know, right. tools. Or right. it, That's how it feels sometimes at least. And so it really set me off on a personal quest to understand in real practical ways, how do you love like Jesus? Mm. And um, this is a, probably the most vulnerable book I've written, the most meaningful. Um, in fact, if you'll indulge me, I'll read just this first paragraph because it sets the tone okay. like no other book I've ever written before, and I've written quite a few books. It says, I'm not a soft-hearted poet. I'm not a people-pleasing idealist. I live with full-throttle ambition and no shortage of self-interest. I'm impatient and sometimes insecure. I jockey for position, and I like exclusive privileges. I can be judgmental, insensitive, petty, and resentful. Oh, and I can be cheap and stingy, but I want to love like Jesus. And so if any of our viewers identify with that, they might find this book interesting because it's, uh, it's, it's a practitioner's guide. It's not a theology. It's not a treatise. It's not a historical. It's, it's, it's all about how do you do this from a psychologist and a person that loves Jesus. You now, I don't know. I don't know your personality type, mm -hmm. uh, and but it, it, are you prone to kind of laying it out there that bare? Because uh, I know I'm I'm not the type to just. Well, none of us really are. Yeah, um, yeah I'm uh, I'm a hard driving type A kind of person, yeah. and uh, you know, either leader or get out of the way kind of <laughs> person. Right, yeah, right. and so it really. Uh, I had to do a lot of soul searching as I wrote this and discover what is it. And I, I really looked at the intersection between where Jesus does some his most salient teaching and some incredible examples from his life. And where those two things intersected, mm -hmm. that's how I discovered five. It wasn't like I set off to go, well, what are the five things you do? It's just these five things really jumped yeah. out. Yeah. And, and it was, uh, and then I just drilled down. Uh, what, and what I discovered, obviously, is not just one example of Jesus loving in that way. For example, the first thing is to be mindful. Mm -hmm. If you want to love like Jesus, you've got to see what other people don't see. Mm -hmm. And that requires mindfulness. That requires being in tune, setting your own agenda aside, because mm -hmm. we all live by agendas, yeah. and setting your, your agenda aside, at least temporarily, to recognize somebody else's need that you might not see otherwise and maybe nobody else is seeing. Mm -hmm. And Jesus was incredible at doing that. Probably the most powerful example, maybe the most powerful conversion story in the entire New Testament is of Zacchaeus. And uh, everybody despised him. He was taking advantage of everybody as a tax collector. And Jesus comes in, sees something in him, sees his lo loneliness in him, sees uh, a person that wants to be different than they really are. and everything changes mm -hmm. in the guy's life yeah. because Jesus saw that when nobody else saw that. And so if, that's why I say, if you want to love like Jesus, you've got to see what other people don't see. And that means starting by being mindful of the people around you. And it, of course, we can't do that all the time. It's yeah. difficult to do that 100% of the time. And I don't think we can always do it on our own. No, you got to do that with the Holy Spirit in your life. In fact, the, the last chapter of the book is to say, here's the five things, you're going to fail miserably at these, uh, and you're going to succeed incredibly at times when you're intentional. Mm -hmm. But you'll never get consistent at doing these things until you do this through the Holy Spirit in your life. Mm -hmm. And that's what Jesus ultimately, uh, after the Last Supper, of course, walking across that valley up to the Garden of Gethsemane, used that illustration as he walked through those vineyards and said, I am the vine, you are the branches, mm -hmm. and I'm leaving you so you can have the friend, capital F, the mm -hmm. friend, the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. that'll help you do this. But you do this through my power. 
So, so since you've started writing the book, you've obviously been more aware of these five things in your life. Yeah. How has it impacted those around you? Uh, well, to begin with, um, you know, I, I forget who said it, but uh, the quote is, oh, that my enemy would write a book, right? Uh, if you write a book on how to love like Jesus, you've kind of set yourself up, uh, especially <laughs> right. in your own family, right? Right, right? And in fact, I remember my 16-year-old, shortly after the book came out, and we had some little thing, we were at the kitchen table, and I can't remember what it was, but I wasn't at my best, and, and uh, Jackson said, well, kind of under his breath, well, love like Jesus, you know, <laughs> love like that. So, but uh, it's made me more um, conscientious, more self-aware, and uh, when you begin to look at these five things, one of the cool things we did on these five qualities is on the website, um, which is um, lovelikethatbook.com, lovelikethatbook.com, uh, there's a little assessment that you can take for each chapter mm -hmm. to see how am I doing, for example, on mindfulness. Am I doing that pretty well or, or what? And, it, it, and nobody else sees it, it's totally anonymous, just for you. But the cool thing is that then after you read the chapter, you can come back and take it again take it a month later, take it a year later, whenever you want to, and it's a way to kind of hold yourself accountable. Yeah. And you can do this in a small group as well. We have lots of churches doing that, but it's a really cool way to raise your level of awareness to see how am I doing mm -hmm. and be more intentional, because it really does come down to being intentional yeah. about inviting the Holy Spirit to help you do this. Yeah, yeah. Are there any of the five that uh, maybe surprised you or maybe weren't exactly what you Thought. This was this is one that kind of surprised me. Jesus was so accessible uh, to people. He was available. He was, uh, um, you know, when when all the other holy men, all the religious teachers were kind of separate from everybody. He was right in the thick of it. And let the little children come unto me. Yeah, that's true. And so if if you want, this is the second thing. If you want to love like Jesus, you've got to be accessible. You've got to uh, uh, be willing to uh, kind of put yourself out there, not just see what you're not seeing, but also be available to people in ways that you, loving like Jesus is not a convenient thing. <laughs> it's gonna mess up your schedule, right? It's gonna mess up your agendas. But what it does is take your life to a whole new level. Yeah. And we get glimpses of that the more we, we work at doing these things. I suspect that it, it makes you a lot less uh, self-centered Oh, for sure. You know, well, the which last is always one, inconvenient. Yeah, the last of the five is self-giving. Ultimately, if you want to love like Jesus, you've got to learn to yeah. give your, your life away. Yeah. And what does that mean? We hear that from time to time. How do you do that? And in so many ways, it, it comes down to uh, empathy. And, you know, Jesus, you know, gave us the example of, of walking the extra mile when he preached the Sermon on the Mount. Mm -hmm. And it's probably the greatest relationship lesson that's ever been taught when you walk the extra mile. And mm -hmm. so, um, yeah, it's it, there's no doubt about it. You're gonna put your pride in abeyance when you learn to love like Jesus. Mm -hmm. Well, you got three of them. There's two more. <laughs> and you only got just a little bit scratched the surface here. So you need to pick up the book, Love Like That by Dr. Les Parrott. What's the website for people that wanna check it out? Yeah, so it's lovelikethatbook.com. Okay, dot yeah, com. you mentioned that. Yeah, okay. lovelikethatbook.com. Right. And you'll find, obviously, the book there as well as a workbook and a DVD if you wanna explore it as a small group, that kind of thing. Great, easy, go there, and you can hear more from Dr. Parrott on the Life Today broadcast show that is available at lifetoday.org. Hey, thanks for watching. Please share this video, follow us on social media, and subscribe to this channel.